Hi guys, welcome back to the Bolt Hair Spring. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ivan, and in today's review, I'll be showing you one of the best Casio G Shocks released in September 2019. There is a chance that you have never seen this color option before because it's been released only in Asia and the USA so far. It is the GST B200G 2A with black and rose gold IP plating, which I think is an awesome looking combination. I really think that every watch collector should own at least one G-Shock because they are simply some of the coolest and toughest watches on the planet. Plus they are packed with features and the GST B200 is no exception as you'll see in a moment. G-Shocks are also super popular and worn by pretty much everyone. Just to give you an idea guys, in 2017 Casio sold about 8.5 million G-Shocks. The reason they are so popular is because they are very durable, rugged, accurate and there are so many different models and color options that it is very difficult not to find one that you like. And you know, there are actually people that collect G-Shocks only. In fact, this is how I got into this hobby, but that's a story that deserves a separate video. As of the time of recording this review, I only own six, so you guessed it right. There are at least five more G-Shock videos coming soon. In the meanwhile, make sure you let me know in the comments below whether you own a G-Shock and which one is it. So let's begin guys, the B200 series is replacing the previous B100 and both series are part of the G-Steel collection. One of the most significant changes here are the dimensions, in a way that the GST B200 is smaller. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a big watch, but by G-Shock standards it's very wearable even on average size wrists such as mine, which measures 17cm in circumference. So the case diameter is 49.2mm wide and the lug to lug distance is 53.3. But the lugs have curved the design so the watch sits very comfortable on the wrist without forming any gaps. And finally the thickness of the case is 14.5mm. Obviously G-Shock watches are not meant to be worn with shirts, but you know, I've done it with this one and also with my other two full metal G-Shocks. You know, I'm going to show this to you right now. This is my lovely MTG B1000, which as you can see is way bigger. And this is my gold plated GMW uh, B5000. So yes, if you want to wear them with a shirt, it can be done, but they may not slide under the cuff easily or they may not fit at all. The next thing I'd like to discuss are the aesthetics. In the front we find the dial sitting behind a mineral crystal. And in my opinion, Sapphire would have been a better match, but Casio keeps those for their more expensive models. But you know, on a second thought, mineral crystals are more shadow resistant than sapphire, which is more scratch resistant. So maybe that's the logic Casio's been following here. Next, I really like the huge three-dimensional hour markers, which together with the broadsword style handset, contribute to the overall legibility of the dial. And talking about legibility, Casio has used a very nice panel for the negative display, which can be easily read even in not so bright conditions. In the case that darkness is what prevents you from telling the time, you'll be more than happy to hear that the backlight of this G-Steel is truly impressive, guys. And it can be turned on by the press of the top right button, or you can set it on auto, so that every time you turn your wrist towards you, the watch automatically backlights the face. The backlight consists of two very bright LEDs that illuminate both the face and the digital display at the same time, in addition, the hour and minute hands are filled with Casio's proprietary loom called Neobright, but you know, having the backlight, I don't see why anyone would count on the loom instead, but you know, anyway, it's there if you need it. We also find this very big sub-dial at 6 o'clock, which in timekeeping mode serves as a battery level indicator. I think this is pretty cool. And if you press the mode button and cycle through the different modes, it will indicate the mode you're currently in, so no mysteries here. The available modes are world's time. In this mode, you can check the time in 39 cities around the world. I've left Bangkok on mine because, well, my wife is Thai and I also have many friends there. Press it one more time and you enter stopwatch mode, where you can time things up to 24 hours. Then the next mode is a countdown timer and its range is also 24 hours. Last, we have the alarm mode. From here, you can set up to five different alarms. And all that is possible thanks to the solar powered module that's inside the watch. After a full charge it can keep the watch running for 6 months, but that's in the case you don't expose it to any light. 
under normal conditions your, your watch will literally like never run out of juice. There is also a power saving feature where if you keep the watch in the dark for some time, display turns itself off and the hands stop moving. Then everything goes back to normal as soon as the solar panel senses some light or you press any of the five buttons. The buttons themselves are very easy to operate, they're kind of soft but there's no way you can press them accidentally. You have two on the left and another three on the right side of the case. Keep in mind that this button right here looks like a crown, but it isn't, it's your Bluetooth connection button. The Bluetooth feature of this watch is very handy and it basically allows you to play around with all the settings from the G-Shock app on your phone. So if you want to change your time zone or set an alarm, you can do that much faster by using the app. Plus it can update the time of your watch up to four times a day, if you wish. Uh, but I've turned that feature off as G-Shocks are, you know, very accurate anyway. Now let's move on to discussing the build quality. G-Shocks are well known for being the ultimate durable watches, but with the introduction of the G-Steel B200 series Casio really wants you to know that these watches have a carbon core guard. What this means is that while in the previous models the mid-case was completely made out of resin, now the resin is combined with carbon fiber as well. The result of doing so is a lighter case with even higher shock and impact resistance properties. Then we have the resin band which is soft and flexible and it has this 3D texturized kind of pattern so that it doesn't look plain. I find it plenty comfortable and it's attached to the case with quick release spring bars but for my average size wrist it's almost too long. Keep that in mind if your wrist is even smaller as you might be bothered by the piece sticking out of the band keeper. Finally, the retail price of the watch is 51,000 yen in Japan and $350 in the US. I was able to buy mine from eBay for 230 euro, shipped to Spain. Unfortunately, the price has gone up ever since and now the watch sells for more than 350 euro, which is subjectively still a fair price because this color option is quite rare. The only place I can find it below the 300 euro mark is Shopee Thailand, but they do not ship internationally. Then there are a few available in Amazon.com, with the cheapest being 369 US dollars. So if you think this is a model you must own, you better hurry up guys, because it might not be available for much longer. However, the regular version of this model, which is silver, is widely available and very nicely priced at about 200 euro, and sometimes you can even get it for less. And for that money, it's a no-brainer. Okay guys, it's time for my final words and I must say I absolutely love this G-Shock. I especially like the combination of black and rose gold plating. And by the way, don't worry about the plating scratching or wearing off as Casio is one of the best in the business when it comes to applying different types of coatings on their watches. In addition, the GST B200 is feature packed, it is solar powered, Bluetooth enabled and it has an amazing double LED illumination. So if you're looking for a watch to do sports with, to go traveling, or simply a watch that can survive a zombie apocalypse, then look no further and get yourself a G-Shock. So this is it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.